that ain't got nothing to do with Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is box office. She's doing this. And instead of giving her credit, y'all try to make it about, oh, y'all poo poo and the old guard. Y'all never talked about the old guard like this. And I ain't going to let it slide. Caitlin Clark, the animus rookie of the year. But what's even more impressive, she's first team WNBA. First, no, even the rookie of the year award wasn't safe from. Controversy Caitlin should have been the unanimous winner. Yet somehow Angel re-snagged a single vote. Who is this mysterious voter? They need to be exposed. This was Caitlyn's award, and the WNBA's failure to make it unanimous is a slap in the face. She was the first rookie to post a triple-double and led the league in assists. As a rookie, for crying out loud, woke WNBA players are crying after the league rating dropped. But do you know who they blame? Of course, it is Caitlyn Clark and racism woke WNBA players have deluded themselves into thinking anybody wants to watch their shitty league without. Caitlin Clark now reality is hitting them hard what these delusional players that love to make everything about race and color don't understand is that the moment Caitlin Clark left fans abandoned the league we all knew Caitlin Clark is the reason this league had any audiences but these woke haters failed to see it now they are crying racism as the reason for the decline in viewership and the number of people going to the games as an excuse. The truth is that Caitlin Clark attracted many new. Fans to the WNBA, nobody even knew what the WNBA fixtures were before Caitlin Clark over a million and a half. And now what happens to that viewership roughly double what talking yeah? And I mean, that was the trend throughout the season, right? I mean, she she comes and takes over the IND FIBA the playoff games involving Caitlin Clark, a record WNBA audience of two. 54 million tuned in to watch the 22-year-old season draw to a close in Connecticut, while a previous record of 1.84 million watched the first game of the series on September 22nd, yet with Indiana no longer in the competition the first weekend of WNBA playoff games, without Clark failed to drum up the same interest the first semifinal showdown between the New York Liberty and the loss. Vegas Aces, two of the league's most popular and successful teams, drew an audience of just 929,000 according to ESPN, which is 50%. Less than Caitlin Clark's game. She's Diana Teresai. She's Steph Curry. She's insert great shooter. The WNBA only has themselves to blame for the problems they caused when they failed to protect Caitlin Clark and not racism or any other social issue. Caitlin Clark provided entertainment and value for money. Without her, the WNBA is not the same. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the notification icon. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. My channel, Babu Das News.